Okay, so I just want to take you on a quick tour through Adobe Spark. Um, it's one of my favorite resources for creating images, for creating short videos. In this session, we're just going to take a look at how you can go to Adobe Spark, start your account. I use my school Gmail account. Um, and then once you are all logged in, again, it's free. The plus button gives you the options of what you can create. We're going to create a post. Um, and this then is going to be an image. You've got different social media image sizes. I'm selecting Twitter. Uh, and then we're going to use that image in a blog post. So just kind of giving you a quick tour. There's a lot of pre-made designs. So it makes it really easy uh, for you to create an image in a very short amount of time. So. Select one of the templates, or you can just start from scratch. So once I'm here, um, if I select design, that's going to give me a few other designs that I can choose from. I'm scrolling through just to show you. Um, again, choice is almost limitless with Adobe Spark. It's really great. That's why I can use this resource again and again and again. I like that one. Select it. Um, and then, of course, when I select edit, I can go in and change the text. And I've got loads of, of room to play around with once I've selected the text. If I don't like that font, if I don't like its level of transparency or its color, I can very easily um, just play around with those. So you see, here I am just going through its style suggestions. Adobe Spark is very intuitive. Um, it's going to suggest things that really work with the design. And just to show you again, the uh, opacity I can change, I can change the fonts, it gives me suggested colors to work with. It makes that design process much easier to do. Um, and then within that, the image, I can add a filter to it if I don't like uh, the way that the image looks. I can also go ahead and scale in and out on the image or rotate it around. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed Adobe Spark.